Pisces, this is your April 2024 tarot reading. You guys, support the channel with links in the description for Dr. Berg's store and Dr. Berg's products. Also support my social media links and cash app for donations. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for April 2024. In love, universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for April 2024. In love, universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for April 2024. In love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mention it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Pisces, this is you. This is your partner. So, Pisces, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For April 2024, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Pisces, is death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So, Pisces, could be dealing with a Scorpio. But you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Pisces and their partner. Clarify death for Pisces and their partner. Clarify death for Pisces and their partner. It is clarified with the page of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or a message of it. So Pisces, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Pisces and their partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is either you or your partner coming in to apologize, offer their cup of love, and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Pisces and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Pisces and their partner. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is you being at a crossroads. Needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Pisces, you're at a crossroads. Needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. So Pisces, listen, you know, someone could be at a crossroads trying to pick a path maybe even making some type of plans to come in and to apologize here maybe even give a token of love want to want to go out for dinner and a movie here 
You could also tell me that someone's at a crossroads on whether or not to come in and speak on maybe commitment with a proposal to transform things. No longer are we dating, now we're engaged, and no longer engaged, now we're married. So either someone's apologizing and wanting to start new after an ending, or this is some type of proposal here to transform things. But someone has to make a decision in order to come in with this, or a decision on whether to accept. Pisces, you have the Three of Cups. You have the Nine of Swords. You have the Six of Wands. Your partner has the Tower. Hmm. Your partner has the Five of Swords. And your partner has the Five of Cups. Whew. Pisces. The mutual point of interest and what's on both you guys' minds is, listen, someone very well may be trying to decide whether or not to come in with an apology, want to go out for dinner in a movie and start new after an ending to save you guys' relationship here. Someone's at a crossroads trying to decide whether or not to come in with this or whether or not to accept this, okay? could also be that someone wants to come in with a proposal for maybe commitment here and transform things. No longer are we dating, now we're engaged, no longer engaged, now we're married. Someone's at a crossroads on whether or not to come in with this or whether or not to accept. Pisces, you have the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is We Are Reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So, Pisces, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. Clarify the Three of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Three of Cups. For Pisces. Clarify the Three of Cups. For Pisces. It is clarified with the Tower twice. The Tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Pisces, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed, or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. Clarify the tower for Pisces. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. Clarify the sun for Pisces. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Pisces, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Now, Pisces, listen, you can tell me there was a shocking revelation, shocking shakeup, something being revealed here about there being a third party and you're walking away. However, you can tell me that they're coming in with a shocking surprise that makes you happy wanting to reunite and you may return here you could also tell me that they're coming in with a shocking surprise that you don't see coming speaking on having just cause to celebrate here and that makes you happy and you may return so we got to figure out whether or not you're walking away or you're returning pisces you have the nine of swords gemini libra aquarius this is you being anxious worried stressed replaying things over and over in your mind losing sleep at night worried about something so pisces you're all up in your head stressed worried anxious 
can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Pisces. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Pisces. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Pisces, you can tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords. For Pisces. Clarify the page of swords. For Pisces. Clarify the page of swords. For Pisces. It is clarified with the high priestess. <clears throat> Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces. Clarify the high priestess for Pisces. It is clarified with the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So cancer, I'm sorry, Pisces could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Pisces. Clarify the chariot for Pisces. Clarify the chariot for Pisces. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Pisces could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. Clarify justice for Pisces. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, Pisces, you can tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication and you're not speaking to this person. You know, maybe you felt like something wasn't fair, balanced, or just, and you're wanting to move away from the relationship here. Pisces, you can tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication because you went spying and you discovered something here. Something that's bothering you. And you feel like it wasn't fair, balanced, or just, and you're just wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. And maybe even physically move or travel away from this person. However, you can tell me that you're all up in your head spying. 
And maybe you're using your intuition that you need to come in and right a wrong here. Okay, bring justice to a situation so that you guys can put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Returning and reuniting after some type of shakeup that took place here. Pisces, you have the Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Pisces, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Clarify the Six of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Six of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Six of Wands for Pisces. It is clarified with the Five of Cups. Huh. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Pisces, you're telling me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. So Pisces, you're telling me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here when you go spying and you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed. Is what, What's being illuminated here is a shocking shakeup of there being a third party that causes you to walk away from this person. However, Pisces, you can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played because something was brought to their attention and you may want to get their attention to come in and right a wrong here. It's bothering you until you make it right. Hmm. Pisces, I feel like something ended here in you guys' relationship. I don't know if someone accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone else. But it depends on whether or not you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed. It could be this person coming in to right or wrong with justice here, wanting to reunite with you, and you have to make a decision. Or this is you where it's bothering you that you need to come in and right or wrong and apologize here, okay? And reunite and start new after some type of ending here. Pisces, your partner has the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that your partner doesn't see coming, something that catches them completely off guard, something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment, a moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Pisces, listen, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Pisces, partner. Clarify the tower for Pisces, partner. Clarify the tower for Pisces, partner. Pisces, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So Pisces, your partner is telling me that you guys are on a break. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to recover or they're meditating on something here. Who, Pisces, your partner's telling me that you guys had some type of shocking shakeup, a breakup here, and you guys are on a break. But your partner could also tell me that they're meditating on this shocking revelation or shocking shakeup. Could even be a shocking surprise here, okay? Your partner has the five of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys had this tit for tat tug of war toe-to-toe -to -toe going on. Your partner could tell me there was some form of mind games and manipulation. However, your partner could tell me that they're pissed and they have an axe to grind here. Clarify the five of swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the five of swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the five of swords for Pisces, partner. 
It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Pisces, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. And your partner could tell me that you guys had this tit for tat tug of war, toe to toe going on over practicality here. Your partner could tell me that there was some type of mind games and manipulation going on here. And, you know, maybe someone offered them dinner in a movie. Somebody coming in with some type of romance offering them dinner in a movie here. Your partner could tell me they, they're pissed at you and they have an axe to grind. And this is the reason why they took someone up on their offer. Your partner could tell me that they're not willing to be defeated here. Maybe they want to fight for this. And come in with this offer. Mm. You know, Pisces, it all depends on whether you're hurt, mourning, or disappointed. Or they're hurt, mourning, or disappointed. Or whether or not you feel a remorse and regret for the part that you played. Or they are. Who is remorseful here? Okay? And it doesn't matter, really. Because it takes two. <laughs> Pisces, your partner has the five of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is your partner feeling remorse and regrets, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is your partner mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Pisces, your partner is telling me that they're hurt, they're mourning, they're disappointed here. However, they could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that they played. Clarify the Five of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Five of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Five of Cups for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces, partner. Clarify the King of Swords for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting their wish, being divinely guided, following their destiny. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish, following their destiny. Your partner could tell me that they need to heal individually on their own. Or they're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Pisces, partner. Clarify the star for Pisces, partner. Clarify the star for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> this Nine of Swords, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in their mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Pisces, your partner's all up in their head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Hmm. <sighs> Pisces, your partner could tell me that they're all up in their head, stressed, anxious, worried, because they have to make a decision. Because they're hurt, they're mourning and disappointed. They have to make a decision to heal here, okay? And they may decide to take a break here and to recover. However, your Pisces, your, your Pisces, your partner could tell me that 
They're all up in their head, stressed, worry, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Because they're feeling remorse and regret for the part that they played. They may want to come in with truthful communication as the King of Swords so that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. They can tell me that I'm not willing to be defeated here. I want to come in with this token of love or come in with this offer. So listen, this reading could be vice versa, okay? <clears throat> This person may need to come clean. And you can tell me that you need to come in and right a wrong. However, you can tell me that they're trying to come in and right a wrong. Like I said, it could be vice versa. You may feel like I just want, I want to get out of here. I just want to get out of here. Over what you're discovering, that they had a third party, but could also be a shocker that makes you happy of them wanting to reunite here, but not just reunite they're also wanting to maybe jump high to come with some type of proposal here. But again, this reading could be vice versa. <clears throat> so Pisces, I want to say that someone here is wanting to come in with some type of news about practicality, maybe dinner and a movie, mm -hmm. or a commitment with some type of an apology or a proposal here to transform things, to start new after an ending, okay? Okay. But I feel like someone's at a crossroads on whether to do so because they're going to have to come clean. Or someone's at a crossroads on whether or not to accept here, okay? Huh. Pisces. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for both you and your partner. You guys, support the channel with the links in the description. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, my stomach is in knots thinking you could be with someone else. My stomach is in knots thinking that you can be with someone else. You got me twisted over you. I know I got what you need right here, baby. So what you want to do, break it on down for me. <laughs> Uh, they don't turn me on like you do. I miss the passion and chemistry with you. They don't turn me on like you do. I miss the passion and chemistry with you. Break it on down for me. <laughs> what else for Pisces and their partner? What else for Pisces and their partner? And it says, finding out the truth crushed me. Finding out the truth crushed me. I'm going to also take a look at the Lover's Oracle for both you and your partner, Pisces. And it says, balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Break it on down for me. <laughs> You guys, listen, support my channel with links in the description from Dr. Berg's store and Dr. Berg's products. Also, my social media links and cash app for donations. Pisces, this is your April 2024 tarot reading. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.